Hello Nuggets, it's your favorite TT from Divine Me 1111 Spiritual Guidance. I hope you all are doing well. We are going to get into the weekly energies for Capricorn. Guys, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it. It helps the channel and it makes me feel good, so please do so. Uh, if you want to book a personal or you want to follow me on my other platforms, all of that information is provided. Capricorn, your two channel songs for this week are Creep by TLC and Fantasy by The Elements, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Um, I'm not sure what Capricorns I am tapping into. Doesn't matter where it is placed in your chart. But there is um, there's a, a energy of um, I'm getting stalking, um, but I'm also getting this uh, playful energy of just kind of sitting back and watching. So. Um, take it how it applies it could be some uh low frequency nefarious energy or it goes all the way to the other spectrum where it's like somebody has a crush on somebody or somebody's watching uh someone and they are taking interest take it how it applies all right capricorn Let's get some TT Music Oracle messages. All right. We have Let It Flow by Tony Braxton. You Bring Me Joy, Anita Baker. A Million Ways to Love You, Charlie Wilson. Under the deck, we have... X Factor, Lauren Hill. Um, we have X Factor, and of course, this is um, Mercury retrograde, Saturn is in retrograde, as well as Pluto in retrograde. So, some old stuff is coming back up to the surface as far as emotions and feelings. This could be you. This could be um, someone else. It doesn't have to be a love interest. This could be an old job um, that you were at and they are looking at how you were treated. And um, I know that that sounds weird and sounds funny, but hey, it could be that they are contacting you um, to offer you a new position. Take it how it applies for you, okay, Capricorn? But um, there is very much this energy here of um, some down low um, stuff going on um, with this creep energy. This could be um, someone finding out that someone is cheating and therefore this person is now an ex or uh, someone cheated in the past with an ex take it how it applies I don't really dig or get down with this energy but I am reading what I see and giving you all the message that is coming across that I am feeling so don't shoot the messenger and most definitely if this does not resonate with you by all means, you are more than welcome to um, look at some other messages from your chart, okay? All right. Animal, spirit animal message number one we have is card number six. Beaver spirit. Lay a solid foundation. All right. Making sure that everything is square. Making sure that... Um, you are building on solid ground 444 building on solid ground um and not just building but this is a nurturing building this is building a home 
this is uh, creating a place of safety um, you feeling like you are in a safe place someone else you being the safe place for someone else okay um, gaining balance For some of you, this is um, taking what you've learned in previous situations and applying them wisely as far as um, building a new foundation for yourself. For some of you, this could be starting a foundation, take it how it applies for you. A multi-million dollar foundation something that was once uh, difficult for you to express say show do is now um, you're seeing why it was so difficult I'm hearing uh, Libra, Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn. All right, we have card number 18, Deer Spirit, Bring a Gentle Touch. Card number 33, Horse Spirit, Freedom is Yours. All right, under the deck we have Card number 38, Lizard Spirit, Dream the World into Being. Getting that with the uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire fantasy. What you wanted, what you desired, what you hoped for, um, you are creating a more solid foundation for it. Um, you recognizing and realizing that uh, this is not something that is going to happen for you overnight. You are um, being more gentle with yourself and therefore you are allowing yourself to be more gentle with others in uh, bringing in what you wish to see, what you want to have um, and going for it with everything that you have. Um, being at peace for some of you this is um, after for some of you after having gone through um, a lot having gone through some some hard stuff looking at some hard stuff for yourself healing some stuff for yourself realizing that you are the co-creator with God on what's going on some of you have been listening some of you hadn't been and now that you are in this place and space of being open to listen you are um, able to solidify some things for yourself for others of you this is someone who is coming in to help you create this solid foundation all right so we have um, six, nine, six, eleven, or two. Take it how you want to. All right. Those are the um, those are some numbers there that that's there. Okay. Um, those are that's for you. Those of you who are into numerology. All right. Capricorn. For some of you, you've been working steadily and very hard, of course, in your, in your element of Capricorn energy to create this solid place and space, this foundation, this, um, I'm hearing work of art. Some of you are artists and you are doing your very best to create this solid uh, um, foundation of, of art 
this work of art for yourself. All right, hold on a second, guys. All right, Nuggets, my apologies. Okay, so our first um, Starseed Oracle message we have is trust the timing. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. Again, um, taking your time to build something solid. Um, okay, we have, ah, look at, oh my gosh, I love how this is coming out. Okay, baby steps, action. Follow your, intu follow your intuition before it makes sense. Of course, baby steps, taking your time. Some of you, you are, hey, you're finding out that you are expecting and you know that there are things that you have to do and take care of. Um, it doesn't have, male or female, all right? You are becoming a parent. You're going to be bringing a life into this world and now you are realizing and figuring some stuff out real quick that uh, you are going to be this young person's foundation you are going to be this young person's uh everything and in you doing realizing that and you you are oh my gosh i'm getting tongue-tied first of all congratulations if that is you second of all if this is like a business or what have you you're starting your own business you are believing recognizing and realizing that this is going to be your baby your creation and in you doing so realizing and recognizing that this is something that you are um taking your time with you are um being very gentle with um all of the things that are going to come at you that have come at you you are learning from those things i like it for you i like it for you get it capricorn this is i'm i'm hearing a journey not a sprint all right, we have Forge, don't follow. Pave a new path. Be the leader you wish you had. Yes, very much so. Very much so. Um, it's not that you are trying to do something better. It is that you are trying to be what you wish you had um, when you needed it. Okay? Underneath the deck, we have I'm sorry defenselessness writing past wrongs uprooting exactly um you're seeing some stuff that you had to get together for yourself you're seeing some things that had to be addressed and looked at for yourself within yourself and in you doing so it um rebuilds a foundation for some of you for others of you it is um, you starting from scratch but um, taking from a previous model that um, that you had seen or that you had um, uh, come into awareness of however that applies for you Capricorn but you are um, for some of you this is an apology that either you are making or someone is making to you um, that whole X factor thing coming in um, and in doing so in in you or this person it's 11 11 right now um, in you doing so or someone around you doing so or some institution or some kind of um, thinking that you had coming into the awareness that it, it may have not been what was best um, or this person being place entity seeing that they were wrong in something and get in uh, you coming to an understanding or apology 
this could also be you within yourself you being a little bit more gentle with yourself and not so harsh in um, kicking your own ass because of things that you didn't know if you don't know then you don't know but once you do know you do better with it that is the the place and space of understanding that either you are coming to with yourself you are coming to with someone else or someone else is coming to with you hold on a second guys all right so let's get some tarot messages for capricorn lessons are being learned and lessons aren't always you know they're not always easy for some of you this is um, no longer repeating a karmic cycle for others of you you're going to get back on that wheel one more time for the lesson take it how it applies um, once this information or this foundation of uh, has been erected once you've gotten some things in order it's like okay um i don't know what i'm supposed to do now um after you have uh given or received this apology you don't know which way to go maybe um practicing the pause practicing the pause um getting some things in alignment in order um, standing your ground in order to um, be uh, standing your ground in order to no longer be defenseless no longer be in this um, energy of um, this back and forth back and forth tug of war either within yourself again within yourself with someone else or someone else with you no longer um, um, in this um, I'm hearing oh gosh what's her name big girls don't cry by um, Fergie it's um, I hope you know that this has nothing to do with you it's personal myself and i for some of you this is you know this is all this for some of you what's going on with someone or going on with you has nothing to do with other people it is strictly having to do with yourself and you are creating these uh this foundation creating these boundaries um defending your your right to um, have a place and space to just fucking think to decide for yourself what it is that you choose to um, how it is that you choose to build this foundation how you choose to get grounded how you choose what what you choose as your stability has nothing to do with anybody else it is completely up to you but I'm also getting um, um, you speaking your truth but also allowing someone else to speak their truth and you both of you coming to some sort of um, I'm hearing impasse but it's not coming to an impasse this is very much after this uh, I'm here after this conversation some things are very much going to uh, bring in the stability the balance the love the um, grounding grounded um, place that you wanted you you put in a good hard fight to um, to do this for yourself so that you can not only have this uh, solid ground for you but have this solid ground for um, for those whom you you consider and call family uh, for those who are on your same frequency and same vibration clearing out the clutter 
to bring in the new relaxing that um, for some of you this is either you or someone um, not being so guarded not being so closed off and allowing you um, just a little small glimpse or step inside of how they're thinking why they're being so closed off and, and defensive but um, yeah I'm gonna leave it there I'm gonna let you let you guys marinate on that the energies and signs that you could be dealing with at this time um, another earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn or uh, Sagittarius okay yes leaving it there leaving it there leaving it there I love you I love you from my soul and I send you all blessings and light take care <laughs>